I did the total plan, I lost 12 and a half stone, and then I lost another half a stone doing the route to management, and now I'm maintaining my weight. I chose Light to Life because it was about the mental change as well. So I tried other diets in the past and lost the weight and put it back on, but I really wanted to understand why I was eating the way I was eating and why I was at the weight I was at. And being a learning and development specialist, um, I'm really brought into behavioural change, and that's why I wanted to do Light to Life to make sure this was forever, really. It's really easy when you're overweight to kind of live in denial of the size you're in. So when I was diagnosed with sleep apnea, I was told I had to wear a sleep apnea machine at night while I was asleep to keep me breathing properly. It was really difficult to hear, and when you have something like that happen, then you can't get away from that, you can't deny it. So it's quite kind of overwhelming, really. The best part of Light of Life for me was the CBT groups. Uh, it was really nice to just share the experience with other people going through the same thing, uh, who understand it. But also my Life to Life coach, Sharon, uh, helped me enormously throughout the journey and just learned things about myself around the behaviours that I had that were keeping me stuck in that old way and what I could do differently. My advice to someone who's just starting Light to Life is to be kind to yourself. You've already made the decision to do it, so you're already doing something hugely positive, and you've got to be really proud of yourself for doing that. Keep your support in place and just keep going.